Hello, hello, happy Sunday, everyone. It is um, Sunday, January 15th. My name is Kim Dent. If this is your first time tuning in, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who lives in Maryland Heights, Missouri, and I have been a demonstrator for 20 years. Thanks for tuning in. If you're popping in, please say hello so I know that you're joining us. Hi, Sandy. Thanks, everyone. Has anybody stamped this weekend? Or is any, anyone going to stamp tomorrow? Do you all have the day off? Not you retired girls, Sandy. Have you been stamping this weekend? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Mary. Hello, Joyce. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Melissa, your text was so sweet. Hello, Valerie. Hi, Penny. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, Miss Gail. Oh my goodness, we have a lot joining us. Hi, Chris. All right, just give me a second. Hi, Janice. I'm gonna sync my laptop, so hold on just one second. Working on birthday cards. Hi, Peggy. All right. How's the weather in Vegas? <laughs> Hello, Mom. Oh, we're going to stamp a Valentine card tonight. Hi, Carol. I'm almost there, girls. Here we go. Okay. I wish I didn't have to do that. Hello, Taylor. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And Paula, oh my goodness, the numbers are going up. Well, thanks everyone for um, tuning in and on this chilly uh, here in St. Louis. I said to Kathy, um, I have a team member who lives in North Dakota and I said to her, I was gonna promise not to complain about the weather anymore because then she told me about how when it's 30 below, <laughs> they stay inside. Hi, Kathy. Um, <laughs> and eat comfort food. So Kathy, I promise I'm not going to complain about St. Louis weather anymore because I don't know. I couldn't make it. This is cold enough for me. There's, um, the weather in Vegas is warm enough to, ah, uh, <laughs> Peggy. Oh my goodness. That sounds wonderful. Well, to all of you who are tuning in, who would have been at my, uh, stamp classes this weekend, I don't know. It was a crazy call on Friday, and um, Rick and I decided that at that point, the weathermen were saying that the snow was going to be, I think, between two and five, so we canceled. Um, I think we could have had it, but, but in the meantime, just know. I was thinking of all of you, and the cards that we're going to do in February are, I think, really pretty. The only thing that kind of is a bummer is that... Um, our February stamp classes um, are the 18th and 19th. So I had two really sweet Valentine cards. One uh, that we were going to do, one of the five cards, or yeah, two of the five cards were going to be Valentine cards. So we'll, we'll change it up a bit um, for February's classes, but you're going to see them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make those for you, um, one of which I'm going to make tonight for you. Hello, Miss Shirley. Hi, Jill. Oh... Let's see, what did Bar Barb just said something about? Oh, Bill, your husband's watching football. Well, I'm gonna use the um, Stamparatus. Oh, Barb, that makes me happy. I'm gonna use the Stamparatus again tonight. So you're gonna see um, see me use it and, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Let's see if you can um, comment. This is just something I'm curious. Comment to see Comment and let me know if you use a Stamparatus. Um, I hope you're using a Stamparatus, but I know before the Stamparatus, before Stampin' Up! came up with Stamparatuses, um, there was a product that I won't name, but if you are using that, just cut, put it in the comments below. I'm anxious to see if um, all of you have one. Yeah, Sandy, you use it all the time. Yes, good. Okay, keep it going because we're gonna use it tonight. And then during the night, I'm going to ask you, there, Jill, when she makes multi, I'm going to ask you how you use yours. There you go. All right. Thanks. Keep commenting because 
if you don't have a Stamparatus, I hope after tonight you want one because I just love it and I um, I just recommend it. I used to say, there's a lot of different reasons you're gonna hear me talk about it, um, but keep commenting to let us know how or why or why you love your Stamparatus. All right, I'm gonna move my laptop out of the way. So um, tonight, like I said earlier, the um, cards, one of the cards we're going to make is a Valentine card. And then the other one is, um, I just think it's a beautiful stamp set. It's in the um, celebration. It's one of the, there's three perks of celebration. One is if you spend 50 or $100, you get to pick a free item out of celebration um, and that's always fun we this this promotion this celebration runs from now till February 28th um, so the stamp set that we um, are the yeah the stamp set that we're going to use is called calming camellia I had to google it to find out to make sure if I was saying camellia correctly um, but we're gonna use that and the second thing that you can do for uh, second perk of celebration is if you if you collect um, $300 or you spend $300 you automatically get this beautiful stamp set that we're going to use um, tonight absolutely free and um, I hope you love it as much as I do especially my girls that love the uh, floral stamp sets it's just mm, so pretty and it's got nice words with it too and the third uh, perk of celebration is that if you're thinking, if your wish list is more than $100 out of any of the catalogs, whether it's this brand new, yummy mini catalog or an annual catalog, you can join Stampin' Up. It's for $99, you get $125 worth of product, plus you get to pick two free stamp sets of your choice. So that's the perk. And then every order after that, you automatically get a 20%. It starts out at 20 and then it goes up to 25. Um, but anytime there's a sale, like a 20% off, 20% um, off like we had back in the fall, we had um, 10, 15, and 20% off of different items. That, as a, as a demonstrator, you, all, um, you also get to take advantage of that plus your 20% discount. So, and plus you get to be part of my team. My team is meeting next uh, Saturday for our after the holidays holiday party, but we do have meetings every single month on the fourth Saturday of the month um, at Zion. And then like you heard earlier, I do have girls that um, like Kathy that is in North Dakota. She's one of my long distance team members. So you don't have to be in the St. Louis area to be part of my team. So, uh, enough of that. Yes, Sandy, you're correct. 20% off paper pumpkin kits. Yes. So, if you have any questions, please uh, contact me. I'd love to have you be a part of my team. Um, oh, thanks, Joe. I would love to have you part of my team, too. Um, along with Celebration, which I love because you get free stuff, um, Along with that, I'm offering in the month of January, let me reach over here and get my handy dandy flyer. Can you see this? If you place a $75 order with me anytime during the month of January, I'm going to gift you iridescent rhinestones, which I'm gonna to use tonight on that calming camellia card. I love these. It's called Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels, um, and they are $8.50. You get 200 of them, and they're small, medium, and large, and I love them because they've got, they're a little bit, uh, they're iridescent, so they're a little different than the rhinestone jewels that we have. Um, they've got that cool kind of rainbow effect, and they take on the color of um, kind of the, what you're stamping. So if you're stamping with blues, um, you can, it, it'll turn like a blue color. Tonight we're using petal pink, so they kind of take on a pinkish tone. So place a $75 order, and I know you girls, some of you have already spent 
uh, place your orders in January, you all are gonna receive. If you place an order from now to the end of January, you're gonna get this as a gift from me. So place your orders. And also, if you can let me know, this is something I'm just asking because I don't wanna miss anyone. Um, and this is for just my customers, girls. So if you're on my team, this is just for the customers. But um, if you would be so kind to, in some way, if you place an order to shoot me a text, that way I'm gonna add you to my list of people who receive these beauties. So, all right, enough of that. I will, let's get stamping. So like I said earlier, we are going to stamp two cards. One is a Valentine card. The first one though I'm gonna stamp, sorry, is a Calming Camellia. And it's an easy card and we're using the Stamparatus with it. So hold on just one second. I'm gonna flip my card around and you're gonna see this beautiful card. Hold on. Hold on. get oh and this is my cue to use my um or to share with you my host code so the host code if you're placing an order that is uh 149.99 or less please use let's see if i can get it all in the camera this new it's a new one dz oh, sorry oh my goodness d 77 dp z j g and then there you'll see my um, my website, kimdent.stampinup.net. That's where you can shop 24 hours a day. So, uh, all right. And thank you. Thanks, Mary Teal. My background paper looks pretty nice. Thank you. I appreciate, oh, oh, the, pa I, <laughs> Mary, <laughs> so silly. The paper in my, in the background. That is my husband uh, was, uh, he rescued that humongous, that paper holder. I've had people ask me. So Mary's talking about um, the cardstock that's behind me. In that, I used to have for about over 20 years, a, um, it was from Office Depot and it was like pressed board. Um, and my husband, who works for Ladue School District, um, was so kind to rescue that gorgeous paper holder for me. So um, that is um, that is what is holding my all my cardstock plus some. So here's the calming camellia card. Oh, you're having trouble, Shirley. Is it because of the internet? Um, I hope it's not. I hope you get to to watch it all the way through. If not, me. Uh, Shirley, maybe you can catch me on the replay or on YouTube, which reminds uh, me to ask all of you, please, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me out a lot. Um, my YouTube, Facebook, we've heard, is very squirrely, and we don't always know that we'll be able to do Facebook Lives on it. So I need you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, it's Stamping with Kim Dent. And you pretty much right now will just see the Facebook Lives. But tomorrow I'm planning on doing a special quick um, card that will be posted just to the YouTube channel. You won't see it on Facebook. So stay tuned. All right, here's this card. What do you think? Do you love it? I'm going to pull it a little closer by doing this. Isn't this beautiful? So this is Calming Camellia, and the colors are Petal Pink and Smoky Slate. Hi, Mary Duncan. Thanks for tuning in. I bet Mary, I bet you love, this looks like you, Mary. These pretty flowers and these soft colors. And there's the iridescent um, rhinestones that I was talking about earlier. So the stamp set is this is free with a three $300 in orders. So you can either place $300 order yourself or you can collect orders from your girlfriends and then uh, as a hostess, then you would get this for free. Oh, thanks, Jan. So here you'll see Calming Camellia. You're in my thoughts, lovely you, this cute little swirly doodle. Happy birthday, you make me smile. It's the little things that make life great. This is the camellia. This is like a, um, I don't know, greenery. And then I love being your friend, which is so sweet. And it kind of takes on like a watercolor look effect, I think. 
um, and it is so easy to stamp with. So, pulling out the Stamparatus. Oh no, first I'm gonna pull out the kit. Sorry girls, I'm rushing. The color of the cardstock, like I said, is Smoky Slate. Four and a fourth by 11, scored at five and a half. This is my inside piece. It is four by five and one fourth. This color, which I don't use very often, this is petal pink. Uh, please move card to left where I like it. Okay. Um, three and three fourths by five for the petal pink. And then this is a layer three and one fourth by four and one fourth. And then this is the piece I'm going to stamp on three by four. So I hope you can get all of that. And now I'm going to pull out my Stamparatus. So Barb, I'm thinking of you. I'll set this to the side. So three by four. Okay, here's um, something that I learned. When you're stamping with the Stamparatus, a lot of times you'll see me put the cardstock all the way up in the corner. But sometimes with large stamps, like this Camellia stamp, it doesn't work well because you'll see, I've got it where, I've got it positioned, the stamp, um, so that it almost, go, it goes kind of almost off the cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is, with my handy dandy grid paper, which this you can order in the back of our catalog, and I love it, it's nice to have um, for the Stamparatus, it's built for the Stamparatus, it's got measurements down the, uh, across the bottom and down the side, but um, and it's two-sided, which is nice. So I always use that when I'm using the Stamparatus. But what I've done tonight, and I'm gonna show you, is I'm using the um, middle of the grid because I am going to, um, it almost is like gonna stamp off. So Barb, that's a new little tip for you that you don't always have to butt your cardstock to the corner of the Stamparatus. And then you can see this is, I'm gonna put it in the same place. I've just put like some ink marks in the corner so I know this is where, where it's gonna line up for this particular card. All right, and then I, I say this all the time, but I'm gonna say it again. I like to put underneath my, this piece right here, maybe I'm gonna adjust this a little bit, this plate, I like to put a stamp set underneath when I'm stamping. And that just, I'll show you why. It just, it feels like it gets a better coverage and it's not picking up, a, it's easier not to, it's easier when the, when the plate is like on an angle like this, a lot of times you'll see with this the rubber uh, the rubber edges you'll get that halo. But if I put a stamp set underneath the plate, I feel like I have more control over the coverage of the stamp. So I'm gonna lightly ink up, and this is petal pink ink, so soft and feminine. All right, then I'm going to. Oop, I gotta move that magnet. Put that down and give it a quick press. Now, my friend Valerie, she was the one who shared with me, both of us have arthritis in our hands and she has like a dry eraser that you would get like for dry erase boards. She has a dry erase board. Pretend this is the dry eraser. And she likes to use this, uh, the dry eraser over the top. That's how she presses especially with larger stamps. And it's something I need to get um, because a lot, if you're doing like, let's say I wanted to make 10 of these cards, um, my hands, this would be hurting by the end. So I need to get that and that's just, it's such a great tip. So dry eraser big that you would use or anything large like that and you could use it to give that nice even pressure over it and ta-da, there we go. Okay, turns out beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is I have my second plate which comes with the Stamparatus and I positioned the happy birthday on the, um, the second plate. Um, 
where I want it to land. And I'm gonna bring in Smoky Slate. Oh, before I do though, I'm gonna tell you this. If you're brand new to owning a Stamparatus, you never want to store your Stamparatuses with the plates on top, like um, still connected into the hinge the hinges, you would never do that because it's not meant to do that. So if it if I travel, like I'm going to a class, I only travel with one plate and then this lays on top. These will crack if you, it, it just is not meant to have um, the two, you know, two on top of each other. It's too much pressure on the second plate. So here we go. We're gonna get my Smoky Slate ink and I have to pull this over to the side to do that. The base for my camera is in the way, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Here I talked about. There you go. Oh, nope, not quite. Having something underneath it, and I'm gonna lightly ink it up. I don't need to press hard because remember, if I miss part of the word, like I did, or like I get, you know happy and not birthday on it, I always can go back. If I press hard with those, um, with our with our ink pads, because that's foam, that's gonna go right on top of your stamp. And it, if you press too hard, you know what happens, you get those halos. So pull this out of the way. And give it a nice, ta-da. And it turned out really nice. So, you can see that. Or actually, I need to pull the camera down. So nice and easy. And like I said, I could easily stamp with the cardstock all cut out and everything. I could do 10 of these, like so quick and easy. So, um, I'm going to pull this out. The other thing you'll see me do, here's another tip. I like to, if especially if I'm stamping a lot of these, let's say I'm gonna start tonight and I'm gonna come back tomorrow, I'll leave this on here, but to clean off the ink, I smush up my uh, chamois and go like this. <laughs> I don't know, it's, this is how I do it. I really should maybe cut up a chamois and have it sitting here, but usually you'll see me squish them up like that. <laughs> And clean it off. So I'm gonna. I'm done with my Stamparatus, and I'm gonna bring in the petal pink, the piece that's three and three fourths by five. And I just like I like my pierce mats underneath, but I also know I'm gonna stamp off of the off of the cardstock with this particular stamp. So I'm gonna use some copy paper underneath. And I'm gonna bring back, this is like, a, we call this tone on tone. I'm bringing back petal pink ink to go on the petal pink cardstock. And we're gonna use the greenery. And something, oh gosh, a long time ago that, I guess, I don't know, somebody who was teaching me, probably another demonstrator. This is a great way, like let's say you don't have a lot of DSP or DSP that coordinates with it, you can make your own. I like to, and this is another thing what I started talking about, you can also, um, this is a great way, since that image is gonna be in the middle, I'm gonna rotate the um, stamp all around just to give it like a different effect so it's not all the same all the, same all the way around. So we've got that ready. See how quick this is coming together? Now I'm gonna take my stamp and seal and I'm gonna pull in my three and a three and a fourth by four and a fourth piece. And I'm gonna whoop, did you see that? Oh my goodness. Stringy, stringy stamp and seal. There's that. And then I'm gonna bring in, you got it, dimensionals. I like to put one in the middle because I don't, especially if it goes through the mail, I don't want it to um, smush down in the middle, like have a valley. So I always like to put one dimensional in the middle and then I like to do one in each corner. Got 
gonna center that. And now I'm gonna bring in my smoky slate. Four and one fourth by 11, scored at five and a half. And let me see, where's my bone folder? Hi, Cheryl. I can pull this out of the way. I don't need that anymore. Oh, so I started saying earlier, like different reasons that we all love our Stamper. Oh, when you know it. I just, did I just run out? I think I did. Boo. Okay, I'm going to bring in some old. Is that some? Nope. Hmm. I still have this. Is this is Tombow um, snail adhesive that we used to sell. Oh, one of the reasons that I love the Stamparatus, and I know a lot of my customers do, if you have arthritis in your hands or your hands are a little shaky, um, the Stamparatus is a lifesaver because for our hands that hurt, a lot of times it just makes stamping a lot easier instead of like holding, like that calming camellia stamp is really large. So instead of holding that great big stamp and stamping down, um, the Stamparatus is such a gift. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my Wink of Stella because this just calls for some sparkle. And I can tell, oh, it's gonna make me a little crazy. I can tell this is a little crookedy. I don't know if it's too late or not. Um, the white piece in the front, Jill, is three by four. I saw that. <laughs> oh, that, hopefully that'll be under me. Okay. I saw that it was a little crooked and it was making me nutty. There we go. Much better. Now I'm going to bring in these beauties, the iridescent uh, rhinestones. Bring that down a little. So you can tell. Well, now I guess no, you can't probably. But on top of that pink, it casts like a, you know, it's kind of a pinky tone. I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to give it three. Oh, this is so pretty. And I think I said before, they are small, medium, and large. I'm going to use a medium one down here. All right, girls, and then for the inside, I don't have a verse picked out, but there's my inside, and here's a tip. Um, I, I, 99.9% .9 of the time, I would never glue this down, oh my goodness, without this being stamped on. Yeah, I can see, how in the world? There's a little boo-boo right there. Oh, well. <laughs> But it would be pretty to stamp there. Well, we can do that. Like the greenery or one of that swirly doodle. So I need a pretty verse for the inside. But like my friend Valerie always says, also no naked envelopes. So uh, Valerie, she always, let's see if I've got one around here. I've got a whole package here. Here's our envelopes, and I love them. You know why? Because they're a lot, they're different. Like some of the girls, they're like, aren't they the same as what you buy at the big box stores? No, they are not. You know why? Because these are so nice to stamp on. They hold the ink well. They don't have like a, um, they don't have a uh, slick like sheen on them. So we're gonna stamp right, right there. And let's do one on the back side. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? Um, I think I've gotta remember my friend Valerie from now on and try to stamp for all of you on the envelopes. 
Valerie says no naked envelopes. So there's your first card, and I love this color combination. I've seen it done um, that simply. It looks like you've done a lot of work, but I've seen it in all different colors, and I found out that camellias come in all different colors. So beautiful floral card. Oh, thank you. They seal up nice too. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Valerie. Never noticed that. They, she's saying that the envelopes seal up really nice. All right, first card done. The next card is a sweet little pocket card. <laughs> oh, girls, how do you like it? <laughs> This is done with the suite that is, let me see, where's my catalog? On page, uh, let's see, I think it's, here we go. This is called the Sweet Talk Suite, and it's a collection, which means that in, um, with Stampin' Up! that the collection, the Sweet Talk collection, <laughs> You've got the stamp set, the dies, this sweet little gingham embossing folder, ribbon, which is faux linen, it's called. It's um, 3 8 inch, which I love that. It's got, if you like to give treat boxes to your, your sweeties or your coworkers, it's got a set of sweet, uh, sweet little boxes. You get uh, 10 of them for $10, which I think is a great deal. Then this adorable Sweet Talk DSP, um, and I'm going to show you so next to hearts, or next to florals, probably my next favorite thing, oh, I, did I say the iridescent, did I say that? The iridescent rhinestones are in there, so there's the rhinestones that I've been talking about tonight, they're in this collection. Um, next to florals, I I always um, am drawn to anything with hearts on it. So of course at Valentine's, um, Stampin' Up! goes crazy with the, the heart DSP and stamp sets. So this is 12 by 12 paper, it's the Sweet Talk paper. This is like conversation hearts. And then this is, I think I love you in all different languages. Remember Stampin' Up! is a global company. Here's some of those, that conversation heart boxes with teeny tiny little hearts. And look at, I love this piece. Gail, up, oh, thank That is nice to know, Gail, that the blends stay true on our envelopes. Did not realize that either. This is um, like uh, candy, hearts and um, suckers. And look at, look at how beautiful. I think that's petal pink. So wouldn't this, see, after Valentine's is over, you're still going to have like sheets that are, I think, probably left. And this is a great one that you can use for, all, like, wouldn't this be pretty on a baby card? Oh, there's this one. Love the hearts. And this, this is so bright and cheerful. Like, can you see a birthday card done with this, this as the background? Here's some more little suckers. And then here's another one that you could use for different, it's got a pink tone with the red little design in it. This particular pattern, cause there's six, uh, six there's 12 designs, um, it's double sided. This one I've used so much of that all I had was this, this size left. Um, so this is part of it, but then on the other side, which we're gonna use, isn't this pretty? Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape, which is kind of the, um, the colors we're going to use on this next card. So if you uh, are in love or you still need your Valentine's cards, order today um, and you can get the Sweet Talk paper. All right. The stamp set is Sweet Conversations and it's got Happy to Have You in My Life, Happy Valentine's Day, and then all of these different hearts. There you can see the conversation hearts. And then X and O, this cute little design, which you can, and stripes. Um, I love this heart right here. So anyway, I love hearts. I love hearts. It also has a coordinating die set, which I showed you earlier, 
we're going to use one of them on the card that we're making, which is this one. But here are the other ones. And then if you follow Stampin' Up, you know, this is the one that makes the adorable little envelope that everybody's using on their cards. So there's that, but look at all, there's a tag. Then you've got multiple hearts, teeny tiny little ones, and some banners. So it's a great set. And then I'm gonna pull out my kit. The kit to make the pocket card is um, four and one fourth by 11. And then it's scored at one and a fourth by five and a half. And then this is the piece that is on the outside. It's three inches by four inches, three by four. Why did I do that? <laughs> um, then the inside piece that you that comes out, the white is three and one fourth by four and three fourths. And then the layer behind it is three and a half by five. And then this is just a piece of gorgeous grape that I used for the scrap to cut out the heart dies that are on the front. This is one and a half by five, but like I said, it's a scrap, so it wouldn't need to be, you know, it could be just something that after you've cut out your card stock that you've got pieces left over. I've used two and a half inches of ah, grape, <laughs> gorgeous grape, I think, satin ribbon that's in the annual catalog. And then this teeny little piece of one by four uh, DSP, and that's going to go on the flap. So I'll let you take a picture while I get this ready. So this really is another quick and easy card also. I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape Ink. And I'm going to move this out of the way and pull in the piece that I'm gonna stamp on first. How many of you send half, uh, Valentine's cards or give away Valentine's cards? Gorgeous grape. I bet you girls that have grandbabies you do. I know Lynn Zerby does. I bet Gail Brock does too. Okay, I'm going to not stamp this right at the top. I'm going to bring it down a little bit because I've got some cut out um, hearts that I'm going to add to this. So there's your stamping, girls. Oh, yay, Kathy. Okay, this piece is going to get... Oh glued down to this piece of gorgeous grape. But before I do, I'm gonna bring in my little bitty piece of purple ribbon that matches this so cute. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive right there in the middle. And all I do is um, uh, fold it in half. Oh my goodness, girls. Fold it in half, lay it down in the center of the cardstock. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra on this one up at the top as well, just to make sure that little tab stays in place along with on the edges. Oh, that's so sweet, Barb. That is a great idea. My mom sends a lot of cards to people who are, live, who are by themselves. She has always done that. Okay, now um, let's see. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, this is the die that I used to cut out these adorable little hearts and this cute little border that's across the top. Isn't that sweet? So it's like a two for one. You get all of these little hearts plus a sweet little border. So I'm gonna set that over there. And I've already done it for you. So I'm gonna bring in, here's my little collection. 
I'm just gonna add a little bit of my two-way glue on top here. So this was, oh, oh, this is fun to do. That might be too much. Where's my little, take a picture, they are. Right underneath there. Oh, and I know something else I need to tell you. Hold on just one minute. I can see I've got a little blob of ink right there, so there's gonna be one. And then I love the little take your pick because you can grab stuff. Got to make sure. They kind of are raised. So I want to make sure. Oh, after I talk about how wonderful it is. <laughs> Sometimes that adhesive is a little too sticky. He's cute though. Here, I need to hold it. So you could just decorate these all up. But the one thing that you want to do is you want to um, you want to let it dry. This is something I learned when I was oh my goodness when I was making the card. You you can't stick these on. You've got to give it enough time for these little hearts to dry before you put it in the pocket. One more that flipped over here. There we go. Oh. Goodness, Kim. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry because I learned yesterday if I stick it into that pocket right away, um, you need to give them enough time to uh, dry. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna tell you is here's my pocket and or my cardstock four and a four and a fourth by eleven score it at one and a fourth by five and five and a half so i'm going to take it like this bring in my bone folder and then i'm going to fold this down okay so i've said this when i make pocket pocket cards the main thing you want to remember is you're going to use I like to use the Tombow glue, and you've got to remember to um, just use a very thin line on the piece that, uh, this piece, which has this one and a fourth score, score mark on it. And the reason you do that is you want it, that insert, you want to make sure that it um, has enough room to be pulled in and out. Then the other thing is, like when I'm making these, if I'm making a bunch of them, you always want to let it, you got to hold it with the Tombow glue. <laughs> Those, that's the story of your life. Me too, Barb. And it's just like, ah. okay, you've got to hold it. You've got to let, set it to side. So if I was making 10 of these, I would make all the pockets this first and then set it aside so that it was dry. And then I'm going to take my piece. This is three by four. Oh. And it gets put, oh, those hearts are going all sorts of directions. This is nice because you can get a lot, out when you do three by four out of the 12 by 12 sheet, you can get a lot of them, a lot of pieces out of one sheet of 12 by 12. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little adhesive underneath that flap and flap it down. Then I'm gonna bring in my one by four. Isn't this cute? <laughs> and then, let's see, what's the next thing? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna bring in my silicone craft mat, which, what would we do without these? Okay, here's my tip if you're new to watching me. I take a sponge. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, uh, it can be any kind. We used to sell these. We don't anymore. Um, so any kind of little sponge, This it was circles, and I cut it up into little pizza pie pieces. I'm going to take the Tombow glue and just a little dot, and then I'm going to thin it out. This is my favorite way. Now we do sell adhesive sheets, but I always think this is quicker and easier. All I'm gonna do is take that little bit, and when you do it like this, 
it puts just enough on there to stick it down. Now a ribbon, like that purple ribbon, that would have looked really cute across here also, but I like, this was just a little bit different, like purple ribbon with maybe a heart over on the side, that would have been adorable, but I thought, let's use up those dies. So there's that. And then, oh, one more thing. I used my, um, look at how much I love these. These are the 2022 In Color Rhinestone Jewels. They're in the annual catalog. And pull this up a little bit. And there's, uh, I guess these are like um, the freesia. So I just decided to glitter this all up, sparkle this all up. It looks really cute on the, on the flap. Oh, we got to get it. I'm gonna put some more over here. Look, I'm going to town with the, I usually don't put that many, but it's so cute. And I have a little niece, great niece, who I know is gonna get this card and she is going to love it because she loves all things sparkly, I think. All right, let's see. I think that's about it. Then it's ready. Oh, it needs an envelope. I'm gonna pull in one of our envelopes. You get 40 of them, I think for about $8. And I'm gonna pull back the Gorgeous Grape ink. Look how cute. I can go to town. I love the hearts, but look how adorable that is. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. Oh, I love pocket cards too. Thanks. I don't know who said that. Let's see. Let me see if I can scroll. Is that Julie? J uh, Jill. Thank you. All right. Hold on just one second. Let me know which one you like the best. If you like the pocket card or if you like Calming Camellia. Hold on. There we go. I know it's a hard decision, but it, with the Stamparatus, you could crank out a bunch of those cards and you could also do your Happy Valentine's Day um, just as well. Just boom, boom, boom. So. Thanks for everyone for tuning in tonight. Um, if you have any questions about celebration or joining my team, um, please contact me. I would love to uh, answer all your questions. Or if you're placing an order, um, always know you can go online to my website at kimdent.stampinup.net or you're welcome to give me a call or send me an email and I am very happy to place your order for you. Remember, if you place a $75 order in the month of January, you're going to get a pack of rhinestones, iridescent rhinestones that I think are lovely. Um, thank you. Thanks, everyone. All right. If you're off tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful day off. Um, if you're not, know that I'm thinking of you. I'll be downstairs, I think, in my stamp room, um, cranking out some Valentine cards. Have a wonderful week, everyone. God's blessings. Bye-bye.